So in this problem, we've got a triangle ABC with B as the right angle. And it turns out, based on the information given, that um, the uh, it's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Um, you're given P here, B, A, and C. And it tells you that BC is 3. It tells you that B, P is the midpoint of AB and that BP and PA is 2 and 2, which means you got 3 and 4 as the sides, which means PA is 5. And then you're asked to draw in a perpendicular to AC through point P at Q. And the goal is to find the length DQ. And it tells you use Ptolemy theorem, um, just because this is a, an example of where Ptolemy's theorem can be very valuable. So if you're going to use Ptolemy's theorem, you first have to show that you have a cyclic quadrilateral, and it turns out that C, B, C, Q is cyclic because B and Q are right angles. And if you ever have a quadrilateral with opposite sides being right angles, or opposite angles being right angles, then it's cyclic. That's good because we already know this side and this side. We can find PC very easy, right? PC is found by doing this Pythagorean theorem. So PC turns out to be square root of 13. And then we can find PQ by using similar triangles. And that's because A is congruent to itself, and this is a right angle. That means that PQA is similar to, well, P is the side um, that is um, the angle that's not A, so it's um, going to be corresponding to C. And then you got C, um, Q is the right angle, so B is the right angle, and then C, B, A. A is the same angle in both, and so it corresponds in both of those. And that's good because that means that PQA is also a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And um, since CB is the short side, that means PQ is going to be the short side because they correspond to each other. And the be best thing about this is you know that CB is just 3 fifths of um, uh, the hypotenuse. And so that means PQ is um, going to just be 3 fifths of 2 because 2 is the hypotenuse PA, and so that means it's going to be 6 fifths, and then QA is just going to be 4 fifths of 2, because it's opposite to the, side, the same angle as before, and so you've got 6 fifths and 8 fifths, so that means that PQ is 6 fifths, and then CQ is just going to be 5 minus 8 fifths, which equals 17 fifths. Now we know 5 of the 6 length to use Ptolemy theorem, so opposite sides, 3 times 6 fifths plus 2 times 17 fifths equals the product of the diagonals, which are root 13, and then BQ that we're trying to find. Add this side up, you get 18 fifths plus 34 fifths, which is 52 fifths, and that equals um, root BQ times root 13. And you divide by root 13, and you divide over here by root 13. Well, to simplify, um, you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by root 13. So that gives you BQ is equal to 52 root 13 over 65. But 13 went into 52 as well, and so that gives you BQ is 4 root 15 over 5. So this is a great example. There is other ways to do this problem. Um, you can find, you know, if you wanted to find that out, you could find this right here and use some theorems about the altitude to the base of a right triangle, but it, that's going to get pretty complicated. So this way is a really, really nice way um, to avoid some pretty tough calculations, and it's a great example of how Ptolemy's theorem can be very powerful.